When fire breaks out, the few seconds it takes to pick the right extinguisher can be the difference between stopping a blaze quickly and making it much worse. Not all fires burn the same way, and not all extinguishers work on every fire. So in this video, let's try to understand the main fire types and which extinguishers we should use for each fire type. Before we talk about the types of fire extinguishers, it is important that we understand how fire actually works. Fire essentially requires presence of three elements for a fire to exist. This is often represented by a triangle called the fire triangle. These elements include oxygen to sustain combustion, heat to raise the material to its ignition temperature, and fuel to support the combustion. When these elements combine, it creates a chemical reaction, which causes fire. In order to extinguish any fire, we must remove at least one of these three elements. Fundamentally, there are five types of fires, namely A, B, C, D, and K. Class A fires are the everyday fires, involving ordinary combustible materials, such as wood, cloth, paper, rubber, and many plastics. Class B fires relate to combustible liquids, petroleum greases, oils, oil-based paints, solvents, lacquers, alcohols, and flammable gases. Class C fires specifically involve energized electrical equipment. Class D fires involve combustible metals, such as magnesium, titanium, zirconium, sodium, lithium, and potassium. Class K fires are often called kitchen fires, associated with cooking appliances that involve combustible cooking media, like cooking oils and fats. Next, as we go over the different types of fire extinguishers, we will see how they work differently based on the type of fire we're fighting. Understanding the fire extinguisher types and their uses is the first step. In selecting a proper fire extinguisher for our home, car, or workplace. In this video, we will discuss the common fire extinguisher types and what kind of fires they're best suited for. First is water fire extinguishers. These work by removing the heat element of a fire. These are used for class A fires only and should never be used on a class B or C fire. Using them on one of these could make it worse, and especially using on class C fire could cause electrical shock hazard. Foam type fire extinguishers work by taking away the heat element of a fire and also separating the oxygen from the other elements. These can be used on class A and B fires only and shouldn't be used on class C electrical fires due to likelihood of shock hazard. Third is carbon dioxide fire extinguishers, which work by removing the oxygen element of a fire and also helping remove heat due to a very cold discharge. Carbon dioxide fire extinguishers should only be used on class B combustible liquid fires and class C electrical fires. Dry powder chemical fire extinguishers primarily work by interrupting the chemical reaction of a fire. These are very versatile fire extinguishers and are rated to be effective on class A, B, and C fires. Since A, B, and C fires are the most common, therefore dry chemical fire extinguishers are the most widely used option for home fire incidents. Lastly, wet chemical fire extinguishers. These work by first removing the heat element of a fire and then preventing reignition by creating a barrier between the oxygen and fuel elements. These types of fire extinguishers were specifically developed for class K fires that involve cooking oils and fats, which most often occur in commercial restaurants and cafeteria settings. Therefore, to sum up, we can say that water is for solids, foam works on solids and liquids, dry powder covers multiple types, including gases, CO2 is great for electrical and liquid fires, and wet chemical is designed for cooking oils. However, as we can see, that the most resourceful fire extinguisher to keep around our house is a dry chemical fire unit that's rated for A, B, and C fires. Remember, understanding the types of fire and choosing the right extinguisher for the fire we're facing is critical for safety and effectiveness. Thanks for watching.